You shall not kill. Number seven. Um, yep. You, I mean, do not commit adultery. Number eight. You, not, you shall not steal. Number nine. You shall not lie. I'm sure to lie can tell us number nine. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little joke because we have the images with them, and he said, Thou shalt not lie in bed. I'm like, I'm in big trouble then. <laughs> other people have. Okay, wonderful. Anything else? Who wanted to share? Quickly, quickly, because of time. Go, Ripop. Yesterday we learned how, we learned how to evangelize. Pastor Claire and all us ministry kids, we all got the tax from the table um, here, and we all practiced evangelizing. Some of us were good at it. For me, I was a good at it. <laughs> and see they need to have that exit because some of them were like stuck like uh, are you a good person uh, can you just say hello first <laughs> so we taught them mannerisms ethics and stuff like that wonderful report for sharing anyone else can I okay so say Mary. Um, it's an experience for me too because i've never done nothing like this and i was getting filled with the holy spirit i think how you were teaching the kids Parents, I advise you, just bring the kids. It's a wonderful yeah. thing, you know, and we need more people to help. But we've we done well. We've done well, especially Pastor Claire. What she does, it's glory to God, you know, because she is gifted and the patience that you have, you know, and all of us that were here, you know. We just give you...
Yesterday evening, there was a report of an extremely disturbing accident in Hedberg, where a woman was caught feeding right next to a school for blind people on Oak Street, and a young woman is in hospital with severe injuries. Our reporter Harper is there at the crime scene. I work with the teachers as she hit the partially blind student, Bryce Harden, with her car. She was also seen by street campers speeding 40 kilometers. I said 40 kilometers over the speed limit of 40. Thanks, Papa. So please tell me, how is this affecting Bryce, his family, and the community? Well, for now, Bryce's condition is stable, but he remains in hospital and estimated to be there for at least three more weeks before being released. His parents are with him in hospital, but wish to be kept away. The community is still in shock after the tragic accident, and Bryce's parents will be taking McGill to court later today. Okay, thank you, Harper. Now we have Barry with the weather. <laughs> Thank you. 